The Deaf Women Association of Nigeria has called for empowerment of women and the girl child in Nigeria. This calls were fallouts from the second National Deaf Women Summit holding in Abuja on Tuesday. Plus TV Manuel Hegene reports that the event is the second edition and just like the first one, it is aimed at drawing attention to the plight of deaf women in the country and their challenges. With the theme Empowering Deaf Women, Empowering Voices, the event further captured the neglect this set of Nigerians feel and the need for the Nigerian state to wake up and realize that they are also a part of the state that must be cared for along or carried along in all spheres of life. This was well captured in the welcome address delivered by the National President Helen Beyoku Alashe when she said the event is meant to foster the strength, confidence and leadership of deaf women in Nigeria. And our team is empowering deaf women and empowering voices. It focuses on establishing the rights of deaf women on issues of gender-based violence, which we um, experience a whole lot in the community, and discrimination, and making their voices to be heard and when it comes to opportunities that is um, available to all women, for women with um, hearing women also to have such opinions and make sure no one is left behind, and where advocacy um, would be carried out by themselves in some in form of self-advocacy to understand and better advocate for themselves about their rights and strategies to which they can advocate for themselves very well and create empowerment in their own areas. So also we are trying to use this to advocate for the need for deaf women to be included in the decision-making process and we have women from all the six zones and all the states and they are all here and see how governments can ensure we have um, avenues for their voices to be heard. In a keynote address, Barrister Eden Catherine, an advocate for disability inclusion and social reproductive health rights, harped on the need for the government to provide the enabling environment for easy learning for persons with disability. The representative of the Secretary National Commission for Persons with Disabilities, Lawrence Idemudia, assured that the Commission will continue to support the association as it has always done in the past. We cannot include the deaf people fully without fully new using of interpreters. So I will recommend inclusive budgeting when it comes to inclusion of deaf in advocacy to see that interpreters are fully captured in the budget. Secondly, we have to understand sign language to form part of the curriculum in the schools. If we feel that interpreters are expenses to maintain, many people have option of learning sign language when you include it in curriculum. Whereas, continue to be of to them so that they will not feel left behind. Yes, we look forward to how we can build our existing relationship for betterment of deaf women and women with in general. Empowerment gives us from a remember last time we had a POS distribution to ensure that women, deaf women, are involved. And scholarship for school to ensure they are involved. As they bring their case, we will respond to the that's a good plan for them, and I hope. And I'm sure that the new years will do better than expected. The event will end on Friday, 30th of August, 2024. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.